We know Port Adelaide, they go to the MCG to take on Collingwood. This Saturday afternoon, they're looking to lock away a final spot. Jack Watts is going to be important, and he joins us now. Jack, welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, our pleasure. <laughs> Devastating loss on a number of fronts last week. Firstly, uh, the all-important four points, and secondly, the injuries you received. Uh, just tell us the toll that that takes mentally on the players, and did it take you some time to, to get back and get a bit of a spring in your step? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously, it wasn't an ideal result. Um, you know, the injuries sort of add a little salt into the wounds, but at the same time, it's... Um, you know, we sort of see it as everyone's, I guess, writing us off and everyone's pretty negative around it. And yet, you know, we're still in a, in a good spot for the year and, um, you know, anything can happen in these last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, the coaches have been really good. The boys have been really good, you know, moving straight on and, and looking forward to this week. And it's a, you know, massive opportunity. Collingwood are, the, are similar. They've got some injury um, problems and, um, you know, it's a massive, massive game for us that we need to win. Well said, because there's eight clubs will swap places with you. Don't worry about that. Jack, can we go back? I, I know you've moved on. Have you yourself relived that last 83 seconds in your head at all? <laughs> um, we obviously went through it. Um, and, you know, we, we we admit we got a few things wrong. There's no doubt about that. You know, probably just going a bit too quick when we could have held it up. And, you know, just little simple things that... Um, we didn't we didn't get right, which is clearly frustrating and devastating and heartbreaking. But um, at the same time, we've we've worked through that. We know what we're doing, and if we, we get back in that same situation, we'll yeah. we'll make sure we win the game. People are right. You off the season's gone. Go get Nick. So internally, the mood of the group is you could all get Nick. We're going to now show you. What is the mood? Could you paint that for us, Jack? I'd love Port supporters to know the inner mood and uh, emotions of the group. Yeah, I think we're just looking at it as a bit of that. Our backs are against the wall, but we've still got so much more to give. Um, you know, it's, we're certainly not out of it, and stranger things have happened. And um, You know, we've got a huge opportunity this week and the week following that um, to give ourselves a chance at, you know, going on and having a successful final series. So, you know, everyone can sort of write us off as much as they want that we're going to be the team that's going to miss out. You know, that's fine for all the media outlets and whoever else wants to say that. But we know we've got enough talent. We've got, a, you know, enough grit, toughness um, in our team. You know, even without, say, if obviously Charlie's out for the year. And, you know, without Charlie, we, we know we can still do it. Good. Well, let's talk about the two pillars because you mentioned Charlie's out. Uh, Paddy Ryder, I think, most likely won't play with what we saw. Mm. How much will you rearrange the side? Can we expect to see something quite different? I don't know. I'm sure the, the forward line is going to be a fair bit shorter. Um, mm. what, what, are you, what are you predicting that might may go on this weekend? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what they go with. You know, we've got a few options, I think. Obviously, if Paddy's out, then, you know, we've got Billy Frampton, who's, mm -hmm. you know, obviously uh, um, been playing really well, improving, big body. If Paddy does play, then, you know, what do we do with our forward line? We've got options. Um, you know, either Hoff can, could come forward. We could just go with a small forward line, which we've seen has been pretty beneficial for Richmond and Collingwood, mm. you know, throughout the whole year and just get on the move. We could throw, I think, we've, you know, um, Dougal Howard has shown he could go, go forward, um, played forward last year a bit. So, there's so many options that we've got. Um, I guess I'll leave that to the, the masterminds um, upstairs, the coaches, um, to sort of decide which one they go with. Yeah, and I look, when I look at the players that are outside the team as well, you've got Sam Powell Pepper, Riley Bonner, Don Barry, Lindsay Thomas, Jack Trengove. A lot of those guys are in pretty good nick. So there are some options of uh, some form players to come back in as well. Absolutely, yeah. I think to get Peps back, if he comes back in the middle, gives a bit more grunt and run and you know, Trenners has obviously just been Mr. Consistent all year. Um, you know, if he comes in, he's going to do his job and um, not miss a beat. You know, Lindsay gives us a bit of firepower. You know, Bonner off half back. We feel like we've got the, the list and the talent and, you know, the guys there that are feeling fresh this time of year to, um, you know, come in and make an impact. Do you read the paper? Did you read Bix's article? He reckons Dougal Howard's got a ruck against Grundy all day. Really? No. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure the mastermind all. move there, Jack. Just take that to Ken, will He's you? He's got a touch of the Malcolm <laughs> Blights about him here, Jack. <laughs> uh, look, I haven't read a paper for a couple of years. so uh, You I'm don't not, know what I'm you're not, missing, like, Jack. I know. That's exactly right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, that's certainly an option. Big Doug, he's an athletic freak, isn't he? So he, he could, is. um, 
He could certainly get, get in there and give a contest, but um, I'm not the one to be making that decision. Mm. We haven't spoken about Charlie. How is he? Remiss of us not to start with that. His ankle, he's had the op. How is the big fella? Yeah, I think he's going well. He was, he was um, around with Robbie and Chad Corns, his two best mates at the club, and they were taking care of him yesterday. So I think he's you know he's in good spirits. He's obviously devastated, but um, he wants to be out there. He's sort of battled with injuries all year and you know, been pretty incredible for us um, the entire yeah. year. And, you know, for anyone missing this sort of pointy end of the season, mm. it's devastating. But uh, we know what he'll bring next year and come back yeah. fit, big and strong and, you know, healthy and uh, have a great year. Yeah. Uh, no surprise Chad's his best, mate. It leads me into this. My daughters showed me a tweet of Charlie propped up on pillows in the bed with his leg out, with his thumb out, and I tell you, if it wasn't a six pack, it was a twelve pack. And my girl said that was as staged a photo as they've ever seen. Now that is a fine, Jack. It has to be. Did you see the same tweet? Is, is that? Yeah, yeah. I saw the. I saw the. One. He was in at sports out. He, had he had the rig out. You know, he yeah, had the boxer yeah, shorts, yeah. and it was rigged. <laughs> That's Charlie, a fine. That, yeah, he's getting in a bit of. Uh hot water with, you know, the missus, actually. He puts up a lot of lovely, lovely mm. photos. You know, the boys are sort of cotton on to now, but, you know, it's a beautiful thing, I think. Well, all the best, Big Charlie, from us mm. here at 5AA. Jack, on yourself, how have you seen your first year at Port? You know, if I'm being completely honest, I've probably, I've probably wanted a bit more coming into the year, and, you know, with my pre-season, the way I started, I thought I was, if I look back on it now, um, I probably wanted a bit more personally, and, um, been a little bit frustrating, but um, at the same time, I feel like since I've come back into the side um, a couple of weeks ago, I feel like I've found my rhythm again, found my you know um, desire, and really um, found my spot in the side, I guess. Um, and from my point of view, I'm looking forward to this two weeks, and, and hopefully further on, you know, being the most important time of the year, and hopefully I can bring my best footy from here on in, so... Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Mm. Got the opportunity to, no doubt about that. Jared Pollock was a notable omission today from training. Now, we know he had scans on a troublesome hamstring. What's his likelihood of playing, do you think? Polly does not train during the week for the whole <laughs> okay. year, regardless of whether it's... Uh, oh. So, um, no surprise he wasn't out here, but, um, no, nah, I think he'll be fine. Um, I think he's just been having a bit of soreness for a couple of weeks now, but he mm. seems to get up every week, so he'll be fine. 750000 a year and you don't train? That doesn't add up to me, Jackie Watts. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's all about lot. the two hours That's, on Saturday. That just doesn't <laughs> add up, Bix. Yeah. Well, I can see S. Gray, uh, Robbie Gray, I can see Wingard, I can see Farrell, I can see all these little smallies down there, and I can see one Jack Watts out of the square. Uh, <laughs> Colossus. <laughs> Jack, it, it's the MCG. It is set up for you, my man. Oh, no, the Come home on. of football, hey? Yes. <laughs> doesn't get much better than that, so bring it on. Oh, well done. Well, we Jack, you it. played your first game there against Collingwood. Now you're going to play a really important one this Saturday. Hope it goes really well for you. You know that you've got a lot of Port Adelaide supporters. We'll be back in Adelaide watching all the action and wishing you all the best. Thanks very much, guys. Can't wait. Right, we we go. Can't help but love this bloke. Yeah, Jack. I hope he just kills it this next four Well, he's going to have an opportunity. There's no yeah. doubt about that. And um, they've got some players outside the team to come in that I think are obviously AFL quality. So it sounds like there's a pretty positive mood down there, wanting to prove a few people wrong. So we'll find out how that goes. This Saturday afternoon, it'll be live on 5AA. Port Adelaide taking on the Collingwood Football Club.